Welcome to the Plow Balance instructional video for True Load Set Systems. First, you will need to ensure that the system on your truck is appropriate for the True Load Sense valve. Do this by assuring that you have a load sense pump in your truck. Also, determine the standby pressure on your hydraulic system. If you have a standby pressure below 350 psi, then the True Load Sense valve is the correct system for the truck to work properly. This video is divided into three categories. Hydraulic System Setup Electrical Setup Adjustment of the Plow Balance System We highly recommend that you view each system installation video before you begin your installation. The step numbers in each video are the same step numbers in your printed instructions. Hydraulic System Setup Step 1 Find the preferred location for the plow balance valve on your truck so you can link it into the hydraulic system. This will vary from truck to truck. However, typically the valve should be installed between the bed rails or in the back of the front bumper. You must not weld on the rails of the truck. Instead, you should drill and bolt the plow balance valve into position and be sure to maintain enough clearance to prevent damage to the plow balance valve. Step 2. Once you have selected the location, mount the plow balance valve onto the truck. Step 3. Next, you will reroute the current hoses from the plow cylinder into ports CA and CB on the plow balance valve, making sure that the lift or up hose is connected to port CA and the lower or down hose is connected to port CB. This is important as the plow balance holding circuit will only hold the plow off of the road if the correct connections are made. If current hoses do not allow for an easy connection, new hoses may be required. Step 4. Using two new hoses, connect port VA of the plow balance valve to port A or up port of the valve stack and connect port VB from the plow balance valve to port B or down port of the valve stack. Step 5. Now you will need to locate the pressure inlet port on the valve stack and install a T in the line leading into the inlet port of the valve stack. Step 6. Connect the in port of the plow balance valve to port number 2 of the solenoid blocking valve using either hydraulic hose or hard adapters. Step 7. Run a new hose from port number 1 of the solenoid blocking valve to the newly installed T at the pressure inlet port. This line provides the plow balance valve with the appropriate pressure when the solenoid blocking valve is engaged. Step 8. Run another new hose from the drain port in the plow balance valve to the hydraulic reservoir. It is preferred that this line is run to an unobstructed port on the hydraulic reservoir. As a second option, you may run this hose to a common return line with little or no back pressure. However, this arrangement has occasionally been shown to cause problems when adjusting the plow balance in later steps. Step 9. Connect port number 2 on the load sense shuttle valve to port G1 of the plow balance valve. This may be done with hydraulic hose or hard adapters. Step 10. Remove the load sense line that runs from the pump to the valve stack. Then run a new line connecting port number 1 on the load sense shuttle valve to the load sense port on the valve stack. Step 11. To complete the hydraulic setup, run another new line connecting port number 3 on the load sense shuttle valve to the load sense port on the load sense pump where the control valve was connected.
It is time to set up the electrical components of the system. Step 1. Locate a place to mount the power control box inside the truck cab and within reach of the driver. Mount the power control box using the mounting hardware supplied. Optionally, we can use an available control switch in the cab as the power source to the plow balance valve. The following steps are generally the same whether you use the Wojana supplied control box or the available control switch. Step 2. Route the loose wires through the cab to the power source. Both the red and orange wires are 12 volt DC positive hot with the ignition key on, while the black wire is 12 volt DC negative ground. Make the proper connections and then secure the loose wires as required. Step 3. Cut an 18 inch length of gray covered cable. Then route the remaining gray covered cable from the cab to the plow balance valve. Secure the cable as required. Remove approximately 1 inch of insulation from the open end of this cable as well as from each open end of the 18 inch cable. Then, remove approximately 3 16 of an inch of insulation from the black and white conductors on all three open ends. Step four, remove the stainless steel screw entirely from both electrical plugs. Using a small screwdriver, insert the screwdriver into the small slot and pry the electrical plug from the plug cover. Push the black and white conductors and gray cables through the cord grips, allowing enough slack to make connections to the terminals. One plug will serve as a junction for two cables. Step 5. For each of the two plugs, connect the white wire to the number one terminal which is closest to the LED indicator. Then connect the black wire to the number two terminal. The ground terminal is not used. Step 6. Pull the gray cable with the electrical plug attached back towards the plug cover. Snap the terminal block into the housing. Tighten the cord grip onto the cable. Position the electrical plug in the housing so that when attached to the coil, the cord grip is facing either down towards the road or back towards the rear of the truck. Step 7. Apply silicone grease to both sides of the gasket. Put the gasket onto the coil by pressing over the electrical prongs. Step 8. Match and connect the electrical plug to the coil. Secure the plug to the coil with the stainless steel screw and secure the cable additionally if required. Step 9. Fill the cord grip around the cable with silicone to add extra protection against moisture. Spray the valve assembly with a corrosion preventative to provide additional corrosion protection. Caution. Do not spray onto the coil itself and clean any overspray off of the coil. Step 10. The system is now ready for operation. The power control box will be backlit when the ignition is turned on. The master switch is also lighted to indicate when the plow balance valve is activated. An LED indicator on the electrical plug glows red to show the coil is energized. Finally, you will need to adjust your plow balance valve to the appropriate setting so that the plow bears the desired weight on the surface of the road. Note, the scale of some sort will be required for this adjustment. Step 1. With the plow on the scale and the plow balance valve turned on, check the scale reading. Step 2. Using a 9 inch wrench, loosen the lock nut on the weight control cartridge, which is located near the center of the plow balance valve. Step 3. Remove the black plastic cap from the adjustment screw. Using a 5-32nd Allen wrench, turn the screw clockwise to make the plow lighter on the road. Turn the screw counterclockwise to make the plow heavier on the road. Increments of 1 8 to 1 quarter of a turn are recommended until the scale shows the desired weight. Step 4. Once you have set the desired weight, no further adjustment will be required unless a new plow is installed on the truck that is heavier or lighter than the previous plow. Plow balance pressure settings are dependent on the weight and geometry of each truck setup. Your plow balance system is now fully operational and ready to go. Simply flip the switch in the cab and experience all of the benefits the plow balance has to offer.